I'm happy to be here. A sentence often said without much thinking, but in my case, I mean it exactly as I said it. I'm really happy to be here. And in the next 10 minutes, I tell you why. But let's start at the beginning, and let me take you on a trip back in time. It was a hot summer day last year. The sky was blue, and the sun was shining bright. But in a hospital in my hometown, in the stroke unit, the atmosphere was far from bright. In this room, are my family and many doctors had gathered all around my bed. I was lying in the bed. I could no longer walk, no longer talk, and sleep most of the time. I remember this moment very well when the doctor said, you are bitten by a tick. The early summer meningoencephalitis. <laughs> yeah, you can be sure I had to practice this word many times. Or short form TBE. A word as complicated as the disease itself. A disease that still received too little attention from the public. But now definitely has mine. The meningitis had already affected my brain and spinal cord. The tick virus was like an invisible enemy attacking my body from the inside. And then it came when the doctor said, Mr. Roffler, you can be one of the lucky ones, be disabled forever, or you will die. Whoa. This little insect put me on a really stupid situation. And the crazy thing was, the doctors couldn't do anything. Because there is no medicine against TB, only vaccination, and I hadn't got it. But for my wife and my two kids, it was even harder. On that first night, leaving the hospital and didn't know if they will see me alive again. But why do I share such a raw moment of my life with you? Because it's not only my story. It's our story. In fact, Switzerland is a tick country. Every year, more than 14,000 people are bitten by ticks. And I was one of the unlucky 300 who have been infected with a TB tick. If it gets quickly warm in the spring, every 100 tick carries the TB virus. And a trend is rising, also a result of climate change. And it will be so simple, you can be vaccinated against TB, but in Switzerland, not even a third are protected, compared to our neighbor Austria, with almost 90%. Do you want to test it? Okay. I would like to ask you, how many of you have been vaccinated against TB? Hands up. Okay. It's quite dark. I mean, it's like... <laughs> Probably 30%, <laughs> not bad, but we can do it better, right? Good. And it's quite easy. You can get the vaccination at the doctor's office or at the pharmacy. It's covered by insurance, recommended from the age of six, and after three shots, you are safe for the next 10 years. As I told you at the beginning, I'm really happy to be here, because being here means that I was one of the lucky ones. But I still had a long way to go. After two weeks in hospital, I went to rehab. As a sportsman, I played in the highest league in Sweden, Switzerland and Germany. Speed and coordination in sports and fast creative thinking in the office was what made me stand out. But now, I was no longer able to touch my own nose with my finger. Can you imagine how frustrating that will be? In rehab, I had a lot of time to reflect on myself. I remembered my time as an athlete and how important the growth mindset of sport is. So I created my game plan back to life. 
like a preparation for a final game in my early days. Rehab became my training camp. My disabilities were my opponents. Other patients became teammates by cheering each other in our progress. Therapists became my trainers. Yes, <laughs> he was one of them. Family and friends were my fans. My will was my strongest superpower. And just like every sports team has his own motivation music, this music from a friend became to my energy booster every morning. Still, my comeback wasn't easy. Being separate from my family was hard, but perhaps my most important beliefs and lesson learned can also help you in your life. First, accept the challenge. See solution instead of problems, wonder instead of fret. Second, set goals that are too high at first sight. If you can't reach them, no problem, try again. And third, choose your team carefully. Surround yourself with people who have a positive attitude. They're really honest with you, even if it hurts. Today, I'm back at 100% grateful for every challenge I completed and ready for the next one. That's why I'm standing in front of you today and why I'm kicking myself into development zone like this TEDx talk. I'm for sure not the best keynote speaker, but if I could save just one single life or protect someone of you with my personal story, then it is definitely an idea worth spreading. To put everything together, I would like to leave you all with my personal finding. In our crazy life, anything can happen. This little TBE tick to fate, or a rare genetic disease like my son's to reset us. So please remember, reflect on yourself anytime. If you take the time to reflect, you will find the power to change, the energy to keep pushing and to create a better future. Check your goals. Are they high enough? Remember, the only limit that you can reach is the limit that you set for yourself. So dare to dream big. And third, choose your team carefully and take care of them. Don't wait for a fateful event to act. Go and grab your first vaccination shot today. By the way, November and December is the best time to do that. Thank you and take care. <laughs>